Welcome to Wikipedia World and we're going to discuss today about two germination. We have the hypogeal and later we have the second part for the germination. So first, let's define what is hypogeal germination. Hypogeal is usually meaning below the ground, below earth ground. Uh, this is also a botanical term indicating that the germination of a plant takes place below the ground. An example of a plant with hypogeal germination is the pea, and the opposite of hypogeal is epigeal. And later we're going to discuss about that kind of germination. In hypogeal germination, the epicotyl extends and the cotyledon stay in the ground, whereas in epigeal germination, the hypocotyl extends and the cotyledons come out of the ground. It is where the cotyledons ends up that defines the terms hypo for under and epi for above. If that part of the shot axis above the cotyledons, the epicotyl elongated, and the plumule still emerge from the ground, but the cotyledons is or are left behind. The epicotyl is also hooked, and the plumule is struck backward to minimize damage to the tip. For example, we have the broad beans, peas, and corn. In both cases, the shot strengthens upon reaching light. In hypogeal germination, the cotyledons provide the food source for the growing seedling, eventually shriveling up. The first leaves are formed from the plumule and are sometimes referred to as true leaves. In epigeal germination, the cotyledons become photosynthetic and are often known as the seed leaves. The second leaves to form derived from the plumule and Phaseolus vulgaris is an example of a plant that has epigeal germination. And for the hypogeal germination, we have the Vicia faba. We have also the process for hypogeal germination. First, we have the cotyledons remains inside the soil. The second, the hypocotyl does not elongate much. Instead, the epicotyl grows and takes the plume above the soil. The terminal part of the epicotyl is curved in order to reproduce or reduce damage to plumul by frictions from soil particles. There is no such provision. The cotyledons do not take part in photosynthesis. And as you can see in the image, this is hypogeal germination. Next one, we have the epigeal germination. Since the previous slides give brief information about this germination. Hypogeal is under or below, while epigeal is above ground or above earth ground. So meaning, when we say epigeal germination, a botanical term indicating that the germination of the plant takes place above the ground. For example, with this one, we have the common bean and the opposite of epigeal, like I said a while ago, is a hypogeal germination. In the cotyledons, if the part of the shot axis just below the cotyledons, the hypocotyl elongated, this drags the cotyledons out of the soil. The hypocotyl bends over and drags the cotyledons behind it. 
The plum, along with its delicate growing point, the shot Mary stem, and is protected by being enclosed between the cotyledons. For example, most seeds including sunflower, castor oil, and French bean. For the image, we have here the epigeal germination, the cotyledons hypocotyl and epicotyl are above germination process, and again, when we say hypogeal germination, the process is below the soil. So thank you for listening at Topedia Well.